How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. We are speed and uh, professionals in aromatic. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. So today we've decided, or I should say I decided, that we are moving forward with a 750 certified cage. So that's a 25.5 for this car. Um, should weigh around 27, 2600 pounds. Um, that would get it to a 750 cert at that level. Um, and also by having it that way, I could even get the cage with a couple more bars added to go six O's um, or a six, six O cert. So today uh, going through and seeing where mount points are, and I'll just kind of go through this with you guys as to what I'm thinking and how this is going to play out. So to make this cage work and for it to be a, you know, 750 uh, capable car to be able to certify we have to mount plates here and mount a plate over there, which I just, I'm just kind of playing around and mocking up stuff and bending some steel to see how well a plate mounts in this corner. And, and I will tell you what, they do not mount well over here. Um, it just, it doesn't look right. It's very difficult to uh, bend a piece of steel. These floors are really, really horrible. They're very thin. Partial the reason why um, I also have to do parallel bars is because this is such thin material, it doesn't even qualify um, for the uh, uh, wall thickness of a tube. So you have to run parallel bars uh, in order to make this work. Well, a lot of guys, what they'll do is they will run it underneath the car. Um, and uh, with doing that, you also have to have, which is a number one bar that goes, you know, over the tunnel or under the tunnel and does almost like a drive shaft loop, but that's where your main hoop would come off of as well as there's some other bars, um, for the funny car cage for the driver, uh, um, compartment, the containment for the driver. Uh, obviously you have the, in the same, uh, a pillar bars and then your cross bars, a hip bar. I mean, there's. There's a lot of bars that go into this. I'll just drop a picture of what a uh, close to a uh, 25.5 cert cage looks like. In order to make this as easy as possible on myself, we're cutting the floor out. That's All right, so we got both sides cut out. Um, so now this is gonna make my life a whole lot easier, um, especially for just, you know, making the crossbar number one bar that goes across and then attaching the main hoop which is basically our starting point well let's get some pockets cut out um, we're actually going to cut out this section right here um, so we can get to the uh, other side of the uh, rear end mount and then we're going to make our cross back brackets and some gussets um, to get this guy all done now that everything's all welded and completed for the uh, shock mount and the upper torque boxes. So we'll get to work and kind of connecting this entire deal. All right, so we can see here, there's a lot of work to be done um, to get a plate in here. Uh, if you look from the top, there's a lot of angles through here. Um, this uh, bolt location is where the seat belt actually goes. And I will tell you what, the, the steel, the reinforcement steel plate that's in here, um, what I have to do is I, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to notch it all the way around and basically just with a grinder, disc grinder. And then I'm just going to take a nice big hammer mallet and so that I can get this as flush as possible for the plate to basically just ride right here in this section um, and make this as flat as possible and it'll have a little curve. Down here is still going to have a curve um, and the plate is probably going to go from here up around and then down uh, maybe to about here it's six inches um, for how big that the plate is um, as well as i'm going to cut this section out just because behind that is where the subframe mount is that the 88 mounts to and we just want to get fully weld penetration uh in the back so it just opens us up uh, i did finish the passenger side so i'll show you guys what that looks like all right so this is this guy all welded out um, don't mind this uh, little hole right there. That's just where like a drain or a dust plug was, um, similar to like this guy here. 
uh, but that one just melted. So no worries about that, but it's uh, fully welded on three sides. Uh, I still have to finish the bottom, um, but you can kind of see here where I had to cut the seatbelt to get that as flat as possible. And if you look from the top, uh, it looks pretty dang good. Um, I'm pretty happy with how that works. Uh, and then we'll have the number one bar basically connect from both sides um, as low as I possibly can. Uh, this is gonna get folded in uh, as well. Um, you can see down here where our subframe mount is. So now we can get fully weld penetration all the way around the back side. Uh, so that's all done. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna fold this guy over, weld it on the bottom edge, and uh, then we got a nice six by six plate there. Everything looks good, happy with how the welds turned out. Um, I'm not a professional welder, this is just me doing a little bit of uh, some MIG work, so I'm totally okay with how these plates are in there. But uh, yeah, we will get on to this side and uh, finish up doing our rear plates. I always like to accomplish, you know, at least something while I'm out in the garage. And these are little steps getting to the point of completion. Um, really happy with how these things are turning out. You can see here just for the, you know, triangulation of how, you know, the rear end, everything's mounting in here. Uh, it's really looking good. Everybody in my family is sick today. Um, so we're gonna call this a sick day. It's actually Christmas, um, but we're gonna do some work in the garage, uh, finish up with mounting some plates for our um, 750 cert cage. Um, so that's our 25.5, but uh, this is where we're at right now. So as you can see on this side, cut around and then re-welded for where the actual OEM uh, seatbelt mount location is. So we basically just cut it, punched her in a little bit, re-welded it. So now we have somewhat of a flush or rounded contour. There's not so many angles there. Um, so that really helps us out when we're gonna mount the plate, uh, basically to make it look just like that side. So um, we'll get on to making our plate uh, right now and weld that in. Uh, also, uh, we got all of our bars on that side done to match the other. So that's super cool. So that just needs to be final welded out and then we will have Basically our rear end all the way done. The only thing we have to do is do our shock tabs in the back and then an anti-roll bar. So moving along real good. And uh, yeah, so we'll get the plate in on this side and get right back to it. All right, so we have both of our rear plates for the number one bar and the main hoop um, ready to go. So our rear end's looking good. We got our other plate welded in. Now it's basically just time for some chromoly. So this is where we're at. We're going to end the video here. Um, I have oh, honestly just been working my butt off here, trying to get this car ready. I, I've i said it before. I should have just bought a Mustang and uh, just converted it to a rotary. You guys, I can't even thank you enough for the support. We're going into the new year. Um, hopefully everybody had a Merry Christmas, um, had time to spend with their family, friends, got a lot of car parts for, uh, your projects and we're all just having a good time. So thank you very much. We'll catch you guys in the next one.